What's going on peeps, and today, we're going to be discussing the goofiest rapper in the game, you know Miles. You might have come across this guy on TikTok under titles like, Bro Can't Be Serious or Never Buying a Feature Again. The reason being is that he is a meme rapper who pretty much pulls a goofy flow out of his ass and ends every bar in an off-kilter way. How you don't got no tissue in here? Why your car only go to the first gear? He's known for his purposely crappy audio quality, humorous lyrics, and vocalization of various animals and objects throughout his raps, performing over some silly uh, trap rhythms as well as beats that include video game and cartoon sound effects. This has allowed him to stand out in the music landscape and his smart use of social media has played a factor in his success. It has been claimed that he has made thousands of people rip their ears off after listening to him. But how did you know Miles get to this point in his career? Is he a serious artist? Let's Let's find out in this video how You Know Miles became the face of meme rap. First of all, You Know Miles' identity is completely unknown. He's never done a face reveal, so he is a complete mystery thus far. Unless it's actually this random kid in his profile picture. However, I did notice while scrolling through his Spotify info that all of his songs are written by Ron Johnson. This makes sense as in 2018, before he earned his rapper persona, he worked under the name Legendary Ron. His initial dream was to become an actor. This wouldn't come true though, because of how everything was. He said if he knew everything he knew now, you know Miles would have never been born. He did some auditions and was involved in a few indie movies, but he was lied to about getting a part for a Nickelodeon production and started losing trust in the film industry. Following weeks of waiting to hear back from Nick, he called the audition man wondering what happened, they told him that he actually didn't get the part because he didn't have enough followers or clout. He went from being super excited to super disappointed. He knew from that moment that he needed to build himself up as an influencer, get a community behind him, in order to truly live out his dream of being popular. He tried to take up new careers like being a WWE wrestler named Lil Chitbag and a prawn star, but both fell flat. This is when he started rapping. He called up his mother saying that he was going to become a rapper, and she supported him at first, but later he would be kicked out of his mom's house because his music sucked. He had nowhere to fall back on as the hood also kicked him out. He later moved in with his uncle in Manhattan, New York City. He had aspirations to be a famous rapper as the new kid on the block, so he hit the studio around the area. The studio is outside on a blanket with a laptop and microphone. He got a call from his mother while he he was recording saying, I hope you're still not trying to be a rapper. His desires to make it out of the hood and prove his mother wrong are likely what motivates him to keep rapping, even though he sucks. You know first showed up during late 2019 following the rise of other underground meme rappers like Submarine Man and Lil Mosquito Disease. His first song published on December 13, 2019 was called Pokemon. He was just another SoundCloud scam rapper using non-profit beats. It's already pretty hard to take the man seriously when he's rapping nonsense over a Futurama sample. It was shared by Miles through a series of spam comments he left on Instagram with the song link included. Basically, someone would be scanning through a popular rapper or news page, find a no-name saying, is my stuff fire? They click on it and BOOM! In its first month, it received 2,000 views. His early videos were about kid-friendly anime and cartoons like Spongebob Squarepants, Adventure Time, and of course Pokemon. You know Miles uploaded his first song to SoundCloud on January 9th, 2020 titled Hot Tamale. He dropped a few more singles with stolen beats, I mean non-profit beats, before getting his first viral hit. Avengers was uploaded on January 15th and has since been viewed over 100,000 times. The song's lyrics make references to Caillou and Spongebob. Of Squarepants. Walters depicted on the song's cover. This is how my community found out about him, and if we got in contact with him sooner, probably could have signed him to our label. It blew up due to the same IG YouTube comment strategy, claiming he was 65AR's brother on his viral single For the Trap. For many people, it was self-promotion done right, as it was too hilarious for anyone to get mad. He was spamming the link in every corner of YouTube. It was also used as a way to get Waltered. The term so bad it's good 
would become a big part of Miles' brand as he continued to release garbage throughout 2020. The man had all the time in the world thanks to the pandemic locking down everything, so he practically spent all of his free time spamming the song while producing the dumbest music out there. He'd have a few big ones like Cheeseburger Deluxe, Payless, and Spaceship, with song lyrics that are either incomprehensible, not rhyming, or both. Miles' first mixtape, You Know I Can't Rap, was released on July 31st. It was a commercial failure as the gimmick was starting to get a bit stale. He needed a new way to adapt his songs to his new audience. He made a few songs out of YouTube comments his fans left. Most importantly, Miles was consistent and it wasn't taking long breaks between releases so he was keeping his core audience engaged. This would pay off once Shaq 3's and especially Blizzard caught some traction during December. It wouldn't take off until 2021. This was the catalyst for his mainstream success, with TikTok users struggling to contain their laughter as they listened to the tune. It was noted as the start of him saying stuff like, this is the sound of insert item. The sound of wind in a blizzard. This new gimmick of adding weird noises to his songs made him stand out even more. It was very unique. After taking a short break, he returned to start targeting the famous reactor, I'm Dante. He hit him with multiple diss tracks trying to get his attention similar to Lil Drop Top's Op Pack Smoker series. Malice put out threats like he'd hurt the baby if Dante didn't respond. He also managed to get into beef with his barber, who he later claimed was Dante for pushing his hairline back. He put out several Drake parodies breaking down his pain and anguish surrounding his clapped hairline. Fight Your Barber blew up on YouTube and earned him 200,000 views. The emotional masterpiece had gained him several new fans. The man would embrace his new fan base by scamming them all for $20,000 on Instagram. He turned $5 into $500 by keeping the money. <laughs> he would put out the You Know mixtape in May 2021 and feed the streets. On June 15th, Dante finally responded to Miles after his third diss track came out. It was absolutely brutal and truly a clash of the titans. Miles quickly responded with his fourth and final diss track along with his friend You Know Mar. He became angered by people constantly using the cheese emoji while doing a live stream in August 2021. He threatened to deactivate his channel as a result. This never happened. Miles might also have a secret channel. Why did they start rapping the podcast? I say this because the channel has three subscribers and its first and only interview is with you know Miles. The interviewer clearly sounds like him too and constantly calls his music ass the entire time. This interview revealed that he has a deal with Empire Records? You know wants his audience to cry to his music with tears of joy and feel the pain of his lyrics. I mean, the only reason they're crying is because of how terrible it is. Following the end of this arc, Miles joined TikTok and strategized a new way to get people to watch his stuff. You know uploaded his debut video to TikTok on December 4th, 2021, which was a snippet for his song, Dookie on My Shoe. The snippet strategy was basically Miles using songs he had put out a few months ago like Ford Focus, Put the Money in the Bag, Cadillac, and especially Road to Riches in this shorts format that plays the song on SoundCloud. It would tell the viewer to read the comments that appear throughout the short, which are all flaming the song, including My Hero Academic main character, Dooku. Miles would start putting out diss tracks on Dooku. This style would immediately generate tens of thousands of views on the app and also appear in I'm Dying. Dante's meme series, one TikTok got 1.4 million views using the sound. This only helped boost his streams on YouTube with Road to Riches gaining over 129,000 views in four months. This was the formula that Miles would use to change his life in 2022. Miles had been in the rap game for only two years and hadn't dropped an actual music video. People were begging the man to do so, just to see how this man even performs his own records. Miles would listen and release his first music music video on March 4th, 2022, where it gained over 224 views in one month. This was possible thanks to his smart marketing on TikTok, as well as other streamers and reactors discovering the song, making videos about how trash you know Miles is. On March 29th, he uploaded a clip to TikTok calling himself a goofy ah rapper. The video gained over 3 million views in a week. The original sound for the song became very popular and inspired over 6 
thousand videos by the end of April. Visuals were the way to go at this point, so he followed it up with Put the Money in the Bag on April 4th, parodying modern rappers. The video once again went viral, garnering over a hundred thousand views in four days. The next day, he posted a clip of the video on TikTok that got 9.7 million views in three days. The caption of the video read, SoundCloud rappers need to stop this shit. Both music videos from the spring have since been viewed over two million times. At this point, he was the biggest meme rapper in the world. This troll was getting more views and attention than legitimate rappers with labels, while this man stayed completely independent. He does own his own label called Trash Bag Records. The momentum continued, dropping major hits like Dinosaur, Pirates on the Boat, and Lay an Egg. This allowed him to reach 100,000 subscribers on August 2nd. His TikTok also grew to 200,000. It's pretty clear he was more than just a single, viral trend. He had an actual fan base. Miles put out lore videos similar to Filthy Frank that documented his feud with comment section bully Dooku. He's also joined by his cameraman Yuno Mar, who sounds like Walter Jr. from Breaking Bad. Miles pulled up on Dooku but got the goofy ah beaten out of him. The next day, he tested Dooku again, as well as All Might, leading to him getting whooped again. It was clear Miles was getting more comfortable on camera as he started filming himself at his home in the dumpster. On September 25th, Miles was robbed by Dooku for dissing him. After stealing his socks, Miles confronted Dooku and stomped him out. Five days later, he moved out of the dumpster and bought a trash can with wheels. During October, he turned into a vampire, nearly deleting all of his videos in the process. The man just can't catch a break as he'd get kicked out of his trash can on wheels and moved into a motel. Sadly, his momentum slowed down because of this. The sound jokes were getting a bit old. So Miles had to find another way to get his numbers back up and make it out of the hood. 2023 started off with Miles dissing his family members. Yup, he did a scam rap confessing to robbing his grandma and calling his mother a scarecrow cause she's ugly. This video would get 700,000 views and the comments were flooded with funny insult in all caps with fire emojis. After this, Miles hit puberty. What do I mean by that? Well, he dropped four wheeler that featured him hitting random high notes after each bar. My grandma just called me a fucking nigger. I don't know why she mad, so I had to hit her. This was pretty much the new gimmick, leaving the sound one in the past. It is notable for the opening line you just heard. It immediately became a massive TikTok viral sound, producing hilarious reactions from everybody. The music video has earned 1.6 million views in four months. One TikTok earned him 10 million views, and he continued to make fun of himself on his own account. He earned 180,000 TikTok followers in a month. Here's some weird vocalized tracks like Payday, Indiana Jones, and Hong Kong all racking up millions of streams across the internet. This folks is a marketing genius. He's getting paid for making trash music. 200,000 subs in April 29th and 300,000 in June. And he just keeps going and starts handing out features to artists I'm guessing are serious where he completely shits all over the track. The most viral clip of him yet is from the TikToker It's Islas, who posted Miles' worst and best song. 27 million views. Oh, the sarcastic comments only make it better. He'd also get dissed by So Illuminati, who took him seriously for some reason and announced that he'd be touring at 500,000 subscribers. He's probably capping, but I'd actually go, I'm curious. There's also signs of improvement on Party All Night where his flow is actually really good, still goofy like the Miles we know. It makes me wonder if Miles will continue to be satirical or he'll transition to a serious mainstream artist in a few years. The man's got a following, knows how to market himself, all done by being completely independent. I guess we'll see in the future if you know Miles can make it out of the dumpster. Thank you for watching this documentary on the king of meme rap, you know Miles. Leave a like and make sure to alert the man himself about this video. I'd love to see him react to it. I can't believe I made a long ass video about this guy. What am I doing with my life? Anyway, I'll see y'all next time. Peace.